So bright and early on a Tuesday morning, we had a holiday on Monday. I still had to work because I was on call, but we're here. I got a UTV tire. It's hopefully not scrap. It's flat on the ground. Waiting for my compressor to build up. First call of the morning, you know, still got that leak. Nice and flat there on the ground. I'm sure the reason it's flat is because it's been sitting over for like four days over the weekend. So hopefully it's just a slow leak. So I got here it. Oh yeah, that's a simple little screw that went in and out. So uh, just gonna take the parking brake off, roll it back a bit because sometimes I don't have keys for this and I don't wanna go find it. And there's no key inside it. So that's the easiest way to uh, move these things, just to take the parking brake off and just work a little bit. There we go. I like to use the good plugs on these ones because they travel at high speeds and they're really thin tires. So let's go put this in. It's just a small little hole. Looks like a screw went in and out. Simple fix. Just like that. I always love quick calls like that, especially on like a start of the week and I don't want to be working out right right now. I do do. I do do, I do do do. I do have two big tires on board. I think those are just for stock. So we're gonna find out because everything is a surprise until I know. Now, before I leave, I always like double check that the plug is holding and also snip the end of it so that it doesn't get caught on anything when it's driving. Cause sometimes that'll happen is it'll get caught on something and the plug will come out. Looks good, snip it up. Now it's flush. Now you won't feel it when you're driving. I really love to forget these valve caps, but this time I didn't. I've got a flat here on a little baby roller. Welcome to Princess Auto Jacks. Literally doesn't pump up anymore. He loves to do that. It's pretty squished, so I'm gonna have to expand it out so I can take the water out. A little bit smaller, make it a lot easier. Tire scrap because there's that one, and then there's this one, which means that it was driven flat and the tires messed. So, all right, so we're gonna try to find a tube that works 16 inch somewhere here. So we're gonna put this tire back on with the tube. Might be a little big of a tube, but. It's only 16 inch tube you got. So we're about halfway through. Oh. Okay, the mic is on. We're about halfway through the uh, Bobcat tires. Of course, they're the uh, heavy duty Bobcat uh, skid steer tires. So taking them off is always a lot harder than any other tire. I don't know why they make it like that, but. Flat on a back of rear. And this one wasn't on the ground, so it should just be a small leak. Spinning around, same old stuff. See if we can find a nail first before I waste all my juice. It looks like we're out of luck this time again. There it is. That's the one. Another hole. There we go. A 50 minute drive for a five minute repair. Sometimes what it'd be like being a tire guy. Sometimes you're at a call for hours and sometimes you're at a call for two minutes. So we got really lucky on this one. Usually when I hear the word Hino truck, um, I like to run for my life because I do not like putting on and taking off bud wheels, but we got pretty lucky and it's actually just an 11 hour regular hub, hub nuts. So that's always nice. Looks like it's got a simple nail there on the inside. You can see that it's through. So we're just gonna do a quick patch and uh, put it back on and get the heck out of here. Nice, came out pretty easy. I like it. Got my nice little Chicago pneumatics buffer.
we're on this site that's pretty loud. We have this 40 foot trailer that needs air in the tires because they're about to move it out probably tomorrow. I guess they took the air out for some weird reason. Now I just gotta put some more air in it so they get back out. Thankfully they're actually tubed because that would be a pain to try to jack these up and try to get air into them because over here and I'm in here. That's where my truck is behind there. So if I don't have to, I'd rather not have to jack the unit up. This is actually a site that my brother's gonna be coming to. There's foam filled tires that we had to take off and redo. And it's literally inside this pit. Yeah, so there's tires right there. Foam filled tires that need to be put on that unit right there. So a very deep pit. Now, it would be great content. My, my dad told me that my brother was doing it. I was like, hey, what the heck? And then I realized ugh, tires are foam filled. So they are way too heavy in their uh, big size, 15, 19, 5. So I'd rather not have to do that just in case something goes wrong and I go all the way into the pit and uh, I can't do it, kind of thing. All right, got the air in the tires. That's an easy service call. It was a little bit harder because they had to open a fence for me because I couldn't get to it, but that's it for this call. On to the next one. Looks like that crane operator is just about to start his day. I had to make a quick stop at Circle K because if you guys have been uh, going on their promotion site, uh, they're doing like this rock, paper, scissors thing and you get like a bunch of free like pop and chips and pizza. It's freaking sick. So I've just been doing that for like the last like two months. And also, of course, I got to get some energy because I'm dying today. So it's been a long day. So now we're going to go and fix a Bobcat. Nope. We're going to fix a Baco, a rear tire. It's got a bulge in it, apparently, and got the tire on board. And I'll see you guys in a second. Nice and energized now for this call. The only problem with drinking pop Gatorade or energy drinks while you're doing this job is the fact that you're always needing to pee because of the electrolytes and all that kind of stuff so it's hard to drink energy drinks a lot because of that reason but i really like them and they give me lots of energy so i'm not gonna stop so we're replacing this one they said that it was the right rear but uh, apparently it's the left and it's got a bulge in it so we're gonna do a little work here i'm gonna do a little work this might be the last call because i'm about an hour and a half away from home unless something urgent or emergency comes in uh, grab some vice grips take the air out doesn't have a lot of air in it because it was flat so shouldn't be too loud on my ears this is a good year so the beach should be pretty easy to break like i said When there's no air in the tire, it's a lot harder to spin around. All right, get that the big boy. I like to get the bead nice and sauced up. Has a higher chance of seeding the bead. Sometimes when it doesn't work standing up, you have to lay down. So that the rim is flush on the back and then it shall work. So while the tire is getting uh, air inside it, we uh, have to pack up everything, all the tools, the tire. So now that I live in an apartment, I have to spray off my boots when they get dirty before the last call. Because I walk through the place and I don't want everything getting muddy. Oh, there we go. Just gotta make sure I got all of it. Because it'll dry up and it'll be a dusty uh, walk out of the apartment. It's been a pretty good day. 
and I'm glad you guys came along for the ride. This vlog is actually a couple days. Yeah, it's all combined into one video.